Hey guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. We have a three-part review for you today, reviewing three discs. Cody, how's it going? It's going. We got the Trilogy Challenge Special today. We got three different molds. Tim, what do you got? I got the Loud 264 Musket, the fairway driver. Right. I have the Dynamic Disc Patrol, the mid-range. And I got the West Side Maiden. Woo! Yes. So let's go ahead, start off with the Maiden. Let's check it out. The West Side Maiden in the Origio Burst Plastic has almost like a board flat type top. It's very flat. Uh, the underside has a very shallow rim, uh, something that you'd see like in a deputy, but even more shallow than that. Um, it, it almost feels sort of like a mid-range in your hand, um, but it has that putter, that typical putter feel. Um, the Origio plastic is super grippy, um, but it has a little bit of slipperiness like you would find in that baseline plastic, uh, and the burst is absolutely beautiful. When I threw the West Side Maiden on a hyzer, it flipped up the flat, carried straight for the majority of the flight and had a relatively straight finish compared to how I threw it. When I threw the west side disc Maiden on a hyzer, it held the hyzer the entire flight and gently skipped across the ground at the end. On a flat release, it wanted to just go straight. Uh, there was no turn left or right. Uh, it was just a neutral flying putter. When I threw the Maiden flat, flipped up and rode to the right and then gently hyzered at the end. When I threw the Maiden on an Annie release, I gave it some height and left it carry left to right. Very understable. Uh, it's going to definitely uh, Anheuser out for ma majority of arms. When I threw the West Side Disc Maiden on an Anheuser, I took some power off it and threw it flatter out to the left, which allowed it to flip up, ride to the right, and then fade at the end. And that's how we threw the West Side Disc Maiden in that Origio burst looking plastic there. What do you think for a professional player? Uh, it's definitely understable by trade, um, but it's definitely a disc that I could see fitting in my bag. Uh, it's great for hyzer flip, pop up to flat. Uh, it just carries flat if you want it to turn over, shape lines. Um, it's definitely a great uh, putter that uh, you're going to be able to do a lot with. Um, you know, it, it might be a little bit more understable for your pro player. Putting wise, uh, it's, it's a pretty neutral flyer. It goes nice and straight when you're putting at the basket. The farther you get out, you can put it on that little bit of Anheuser and it's going to keep it going pretty straight for you. Uh, it's definitely an overall great disc. What did you think of it, Tim, as an amateur player? I, I thought it was, as Cody says, pretty neutral flight, point and shoot, but uh, the rim's a little shallow for me. I didn't like care for that very much, and it's a little flatter on top, so. Yeah. Well, it, I actually thought it, it sh shared a resemblance to the Deputy a little bit in that it's flight characteristics. Uh, it was a pretty straight flyer. Deputy turns over a little bit more, um, and uh, as far as putting goes, though, uh, close to it, maybe a little bit more overstable of a putter than the Deputy for me. So uh, let's go ahead and kick it to the next review. We'll go to the Patrol. Dynamic Disc Patrol is a mid-range that has a slightly deeper rim than I'm accustomed to. It has a standard width for the rim uh, that you'll find in your typical mid-range. And then it has a slight dome to it, uh, almost putter-like. And then it, in that loose plastic, it's nice and gummy, but has the firmness. When I threw the Dynamic Disc Patrol on a hyzer, it wanted to flip up the flat, but there was a crazy right to left wind that kept it pushing hyzer the entire flight, and you saw it skip, flare skip at the end. Uh, I think with a little less wind, it's gonna flip up the flat and ride a little truer to, to straight. When I threw the patrol on a hyzer, it hyzer flipped up the flat, rode straight, and then hyzer finished at the end. When I threw the patrol flat, it wanted to instantly turn over. It's a very understable mid-range that in a little bit of headwind like we're having, it wanted to flip right over. When I threw the dynamic disc patrol on a flat release, it turned right and then tried to fight back at the very end. When I threw the patrol on an Anheuser, I gave it some height to try and have it flex out because I knew that it was an understable disc. Uh, it didn't matter. It still turned into a roller. Uh, it kind of was more like a cut roller and then stood up at the end of the, uh, end of the flight. When I threw the patrol on an Anheuser, as expected with its understability, it instantly wanted to roll and it did. 
And that's how we threw the dynamic disc patrol in that lucid plastic. Cody, what did you think of the patrol? Um, I really liked it. Uh, I'm a Latitude 64 fuse thrower. Uh, so as an understable mid-range, this was very comparable to the two. Um, I really liked it. You can pop it up on a hyzer flip and it just goes straight. You throw it flat, it turns over. Um, I really liked it. Um, you can power it down and just get it to go nice and straight. It's a very controllable mid-range. I, you know, I, I definitely think if I didn't throw the fuse, I'd put it in my bag, but I love the fuse. Yeah, <laughs> hard to get, uh, yeah, hard to get away from those fuses for sure. Uh, Tim, what did you think for the patrol? I like it. As I like all of Dynamics mids, they have like a very similar feel in the hand. And, uh, I wanted the warrant to be what this disc is because I need that understable mid-range slot in my bag and I think this is going to be the one that fills that for me. Yeah, and for me, I would compare it to the Tursus myself. Uh, whenever I throw the Tursus, uh, this is kind of the same type of shot that I throw this I would throw this for. I like the Patrol for the Anheuser shot that doesn't quite come out of it. If I want to hyzer flip my mid-range uh, and it stays nice and straight, and uh, that's that's what I use the patrol for. Yeah, yeah. yeah tailwind kind of bomber too, maybe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you saw with my hyzer shot where it just it didn't want to flip over. It did it, it in that tailwind, that crosswind. It just it kept carrying. It was great. Yeah, very cool disc. So we got one more to go. Let's grab the musket. Check it out. Let's fire away. When Cody threw the musket on a hyzer, it almost flipped up the flat but rode very nice and straight on a pushing hyzer before finishing out on a slight skip. When I threw the Latitude 64 musket on a hyzer, it held the hyzer the entire flight with some good glide and finished left. When I threw the musket flat, it carried pretty straight and hyzered out at the finish. When I threw the musket on a flat release it flipped up the flat flew straight for a long ways and then faded to the left when i threw the musket on an anheuser i really tried to force it over because i knew it had some st stability to it uh, but it ended up carrying right anheuser the entire flight uh, it's definitely something that you can use to try and flex out at the end of uh you know trying to shape your shot when i threw the musket on an anheuser it held the anheuser for a a good ways, and then S turned out of it and hyzered into the ground. And that's how we threw the Latitude 64 musket in the Opto Plastic for a pro arm player. What did you think, Cody? Um, it's definitely an overstable fairway driver. Um, out of the box, I knew I could throw it hard and flat, and it's going to go nice and straight and hyzer out at the finish. Um, it's something that if you're trying to shape a line and you want to force over an anheuser, it's going to want to try and fight out of that. Um, it's, it's definitely a good overstable fairway driver uh, that you can use in a lot of different situations. Yeah, and as far as an amateur player goes, Tim, what did you think of it? I liked it a lot. I could see a little bit of maybe overlap with my escape or something similar, but it is overstable, feels great in the hand, has a low profile, and uh, yeah, I like it a lot. You know, with my arm speed, I would actually compare it to a trespass. Uh, it seems like a slower trespass, but still it has that overstability there towards the end. It allows me to flex it out, especially I have a biofusion trespass that I, I would definitely compare this to. So we want to say a very special thank you to Dynamic Discs for sending us all three of the Trilogy Challenge Discs to review today. Thank you. You guys are amazing. And uh, definitely, if you have a Trilogy Challenge in your area, you can get your hands on one of these three discs. They're not going to be released until uh, either tail end of the year or beginning of next year. So uh, this is your chance to get a hold of any of these discs if you think that there's a spot for it in your bag. Great beginner event. Yeah. You know what? I started off, that was one of my first events that Cody ran. Um, I, I know, Tim, it's, you I said... One of my first tournament experiences was the 2015 Trilogy Challenge, also run by Cody. But... Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things that I, I like running the Trilogy Challenges is, you know, it gets a lot of newer players introduced into the game. Um, you know, they're, they're typically very beginner-friendly discs. Uh, there's really, I can't re really recall, the Sampo was a little bit overstable, a little fast, um, but the majority of the discs for Trilogy Challenge are, are made for beginner players. Um, so, you know, if there's a Trilogy Challenge in your area, like Brian was saying, get out. If you're around here at Deer Lakes, we're going to be running one in here probably around September area, so be on the lookout for that. Um, so, yeah, get out and check out Trilogy Challenges. Yeah, it's always a lot of fun. 
I know there's there's a ton in every area. There seems to be uh, some one of these that you can get to if you're interested. Well, that's going to do it for our review. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Share it. Share it, comment. We always appreciate it whenever you guys do that. So for this extended review of Disc Golf Examiner, thank you guys for joining us. And as always, keep banging those chains. Do it.